Britain's greatest ever player is set to retire after struggling to overcome a long-standing hip injury Andrew Murray in action during the boys' singles at the Wimbledon Lawn Tennis Championships in London in 2002. Getty Images Murray won the U.S. Open Boys' Singles Championships 2004 in New York. Getty Images Murray beat Tim Henman at the David Off Swiss Indoors on October 26, 2005 in Basel, Switzerland. Getty Images Murray won his first ATP title after defeating Leighton Hewitt of Australia in the SAP Open on February 19, 2006 in San Jose, California. Getty Images Murray becomes the first British singles champion in over 100 years after defeating Roger Federer of Switzerland at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Getty Images Murray won the U.S. Open, his first Grand Slam title, in New York on September 10, 2012. AFP Murray celebrates winning the Wimbledon final on July 7, 2013 in Wimbledon, England. Reuters Murray celebrates his victory over France's Gael Monfils at the end of their French Tennis Open quarterfinal match in Paris on June 4, 2014. AFP Murray celebrates with the trophy after winning the Davis Cup at Flanders Expo, Ghent, Belgium in 2015. Action Images via Reuters Murray celebrates his win over Milos Ronic of Canada in the men's singles final of the 2016 Wimbledon Championships in London, Britain. EPA Murray of Britain with 2016 Olympic gold in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Reuters Murray celebrates with the ATP World Tour Finals Trophy at O2 Arena, London in 2016. Reuters Murray poses with the trophy after winning the men's finals of the Dubai Duty Free Tennis Championship in 2017. Tadish Kumar, the national Murray steps off the court after defeating Marius Kopel during the City Open Tennis Tournament in Washington in 2018. AP Photo The tributes and outpouring of support have said it all. Tennis players past and present have used their social media platforms and Australian Open press conferences to stand alongside Andy Murray after the greatest British player of the modern era announced his impending and premature retirement. A career that has included three Grand Slam titles, two of them historic, a pair of Olympic gold medals, again, more history, a combined 45 ATP titles, and a spell at the top of the rankings is to be cruelly cut short. After nearly two years battling a chronic hip injury, Murray has been forced to decide that enough is enough. The end could come as soon as this week at the conclusion of Murray's Australian Open campaign in Melbourne, which given he faces the accomplished world number 23 Roberto Bautista gut in the opening round, is likely to come at the first hurdle. Blank, read more, Kyle Edmund, Andy Murray, my biggest role model out of any tennis player, Djokovic faces qualifier at Australian Open while Federer draws a stone and watch Bernard Tomic's outrageous trick serve to beat Nick Kyrgios, blank, for Murray's sake, he will hope to hang up his racket, partially, on his own terms. His plan is to walk away after Wimbledon, the venue of his most memorable achievements and where his legacy has been forged. However, limping on for another six months, he admitted, might be beyond his ailing body. Whether it happens this week or in July, Murray will likely be in no mood to reflect. After all, he is just 31 and should have at least another three or four seasons at the top. Perhaps another major title or two in the trophy cabinet. But when the time does come to take stock, Murray will be able to look back on a groundbreaking career that, eventually, earned him the hero-level status he always deserved from British sports fans. A few sarcastic comments about supporting England's opponents at football's World Cup in 2006 were long held against him by a petty minority, while his monotone voice and introverted personality had Murray pegged as dull and dour. Over the next six years, Murray was well on his way to becoming one of his country's finest athletes but it was his emotional defeat to Roger Federer in the 2012 Wimbledon final when public perception started to turn. Weeks later, Murray had won overall but the bitterest of critics when he returned to center court to dismantle Federer and win Olympic gold. It was the start of what proved to be a historic year. 
the first slice of history was created at the US Open when Murray became the first British man to win a Grand Slam title in 76 years, beating Novak Djokovic in the most dramatic of five-set classics. Then of course, there was the defining moment of his career, indeed one of the most defining moments in British sport, the 2013 Wimbledon title. A more straightforward victory over the Serb this time but no less tense. The home nation had waited since 1936 for a male champion performer he delivered. In 2015, Murray then led Britain to their first Davis Cup title in 79 years, winning all of his 11 matches, before creating more history the following season by becoming the first player to win back-to-back -back Olympic gold medals. Weeks before that, a second Wimbledon trophy was secured. It was also in 2016 when Murray embarked on the finest run of his career, which culminated in him becoming the first British man to top the world rankings. He would end the season by winning the ATP Finals for the first time. For a player who operated largely in the slipstream of the greats of his era, Rafael Nadal, Federer, and Djokovic, Murray's success ensures he has firmly earned his place in the annals of tennis history. There will be myriad emotions Murray will experience after he has played his final competitive match, but thankfully the worst of them all will be avoided, regret. Murray will ride off into retirement safe in the knowledge that he has squeezed out every last drop of his talent. Perhaps he is not leaving on his own terms, perhaps there are more trophies that could have been won, even more history created. But his impact on the game, and on British sport in general, will never be forgotten. Of all the tributes that have flooded in, it was the one from Wimbledon that said it best, Andy, whatever happens next, you've done more than you know, too right. Updated January 13, 2019 8.23 a.m.